Welcome to a new episode of Restoration of Vic. Today we're gonna to be restoring these Do The Right Thing Beat Air Jordan 3s. I picked these up on eBay for 50 bucks. Um, that's a great price for these, even though they're trash, they're not beyond restoring. Best thing about these shoes are, they are my size, so I might keep them. What we're gonna be doing to these shoes is obviously getting them a full deep clean, inside and out, doing some touch-ups, and repainting the midsoles. So, let's get started. So the first step we're gonna do to get started with this restoration is take out the shoelaces, take out the insole, and insert our rejuvenator adjustable shoe tree. The next thing we're gonna do before we get started with the actual cleaning is use the rejuvenator suede eraser to take out some of the tougher stains on the white suede, like right here and right here. All right, we're all done with the eraser. Looks really good, got more than 90% of the stains out. Um, I highly recommend this product whenever you're cleaning light color suede, such as gray or white. So now we're gonna move on to the actual cleaning itself using Rejuvenator's three brush, four ounce kit and our hard brass bristle brush. This is impossible. I've probably done this like a million times and it doesn't get any easier. Time to square some squirts. The first brush we're gonna be using is a hard stiff bristle brush to clean up the soles. All done with the stiff bristle brush. Now we're gonna move on to the brass bristle brush to get some of the tougher stains on the sole out. All right, all done with the brass brush. Now we're gonna move on to the medium bristle brush to clean up the back tab. All done with the medium bristle brush. Now it's time for the last brush, which is the soft bristle brush to clean up the rest of the uppers. So just like the forest screen restoration from a few weeks back, the sock liner on this pair is really dingy and dirty. So we're gonna give it a full deep cleaning using the soft bristle brush as well as the insole. All done with the shoes, now we're gonna clean up the shoelaces inside the bowl. To give everything a true deep clean, we're gonna put them inside the single laundry bag and put them in the washing machine. Time for the washing machine process. We're also gonna be using an ounce of rejuvenated single laundry detergent this stuff is great, highly recommend it. Also, whenever you're using a washing machine, make sure your settings are at small, delicate cycle with cold water. All right, we are back. Shoes are fully clean and dried. They look great. The suede is perfect, no damage at all. The sock liner is back to white. There is a lot of sock lint, but we'll take care of that later. So now the next thing we're gonna do is take care of the midsoles by scratching off the paint. The midsoles are fully stripped all around. Since these shoes are from 2006, the midsoles are starting to slightly deteriorate. 
So what we're going to do next, using some light gray sandpaper, is smooth down those rough areas. All right, we are done sanding down the midsole. Paint's fully stripped. These look really good, nice and smooth. So now the next thing we're gonna do um, is tape off the uppers and soles so we can lay down the paint. Shoes are fully taped up, uppers and soles. Now we're gonna lay down the first color, which is the opaque white from Jacquard, through the airbrush. White paint's laid down all around the midsole, looks nice and solid. So now the next thing we're gonna do is tape off that white area so we can lay down the yellow paint on the top portion of the midsole. All right, so the mentals are fully taped up. We're gonna be using this pre-mix do the right thing yellow paint that I mixed using opaque yellow and fluorescent sunburst from Jacquard paint. The yellow paint's laid down, took several coats, but it looks good, nice and even. So now we're gonna go ahead and move the tape. Nice line, bro. Oh yeah. Before we apply the crawl matte finish to this freshly painted midsole, as you can see on the air units, I didn't tape them off. So what we're gonna do next using these little scissors is scratch off the paint. It's not coming off. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Midsole repaint is fully done. This restoration is pretty much there. Um, the next thing we gotta do is remove all this sock lint from the sock liner using this uh, lint shaver. Before we wrap it up and lace the shoes up, as you can see, the sway is slightly faded from the deep clean we gave it earlier, so we're gonna bring that color back using Rejuvenator Almighty Mink Oil. That's gonna be it for the mink oil. I highly recommend this stuff on any color suede after you clean it up. Make sure you use a soft bristle brush to even it out. That's gonna wrap it up on this week's full restoration on these Do The Right Thing Air Jordan 3s. Honestly, these came out a lot better than I expected. All those deep stains on the white suede, blue suede, and the sock liner completely came out with no problems. Even the mentals are back to factory. I'm really proud of this restoration. Just a quick recap on what I did. Before I gave these shoes a proper deep clean, I used a rejuvenated suede eraser to get those deep stains out of the white suede. After that, I gave the shoes a proper deep clean using the rejuvenated three brush four ounce kit. Put the shoes in the sink of laundry bag. Then I put the shoes in the washing machine with our sink of laundry detergent. Once that was done, gave your shoes a proper midsole repaint. 
Then after that, I brought this way back to life using Rejuvenator's Almighty Mink Oil. You can find all this stuff you see right here at Rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code in the description below. Also, make sure to check out the description below for any details on how to win our weekly giveaway. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next Monday. And remember, always do the right thing.